Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I had some interesting um, breakthroughs with nature spirits yesterday afternoon and evening um, that I, I thought I'd try and share with you before I go hiking today um, because they're, I, I think that the beginning of some really interesting news about working with nature spirits to co-create the new reality, okay? Um, how could I explain it? Um, well, I've been hiking with the Sierra Club a couple of times a week, and and my feet the next day after uh, you know hiking up a mountain, hiking down a mountain like that, the next day my feet sometimes ache a little. So once in a while I go to, for a foot massage, a Thai you know T H A I acupressure foot massage, and and I did that yesterday. And when I came out, uh, the person there that I was getting the massage from. He heard the clairaudient realm, as is so frequently the case these days. He heard the clairaudient realm that I was hearing, and it was the first time that he heard it, so he was asking a bunch of questions about it. And that made me think, too, about what was going on in the clairaudient realm. So I came up from the massage, and, which was great, you know. <laughs> I felt completely revitalized. And I came out right around sunset, and... And there were just uh, maybe five or six uh, demons came along and were just harassing me in a sexual kind of way. Nothing to do with him. It had to do with other people. And so I, I think people in that very shopping center. And so that because of all the questions he asked about those beings, you know, I, I started thinking and working with it. And um, it, actually, it was very insightful, his comments and his questions. Um, brought me to a great, and then I started talking to the nature spirits, and you know, so here we have it. Um, it seems that w when humans are unhappy, happiness, first of all, is our natural state. When humans are unhappy, or so I hear from the nature spirits, they come around and they try and figure out what's wrong, and they try and fix it, okay? So, so that's the first thing is, they're not attached to us, but when they hear us, our sadness or our upset, or, they come around and, and what they want to do is they want to fix it. They want to create for us the reality that we really want for our happiness. So, so what, happens, what happens when we think negative thoughts, when we think bad things, when we when our hearts are not full of appreciation or love or some positive emotion, is that we attract to ourselves another kind of being. We attract to ourselves the demon hordes. Not nice guys. And as, and as happy and truthful and kind and sweet as the nature spirits are, that unhappy and untruthful and unkind are the, are the demon hordes, the exact opposite. Not your Earl Grey cup of tea, those guys. So, um, so, so if we find ourselves surrounded by demons uh, or by, by, like, whatever, that are not to our liking, the first thing to do is to change our own emotional state, the state of our heart, to a state of happiness and appreciation and, and love, okay? If you can't manage one of them, try another one. There's got to be something that we all appreciate during the day. Even if you're noticing the demons, demon hordes, there's something to appreciate because when you notice them, you can do something about them, right? So, appreciation, gratitude. So, so then you know, as soon as your heart is doing that, you know that it is not you that, are, that is attracting the demon hordes. Okay? Instead, what you'll find is a bunch of nature spirits hovering around, wondering what is going on, trying to figure out how to fix it. And, and they're all on your side. They might not be your nature spirits, they're the Deva's nature spirits, but they're here to help humanity co-create the new reality. Okay, so I found out that much. So then I was listening to find out where these demons were coming from, all right? And this has to do with misunderstandings in the fourth dimension, as it turns out. So um, the first thing I noticed was that there are men who are relating to me and courting to me in the astral realm 
who, because of the Atlantean age, because of the uh, the assumption by women that they are powerless and the assumption by men that in the Atlantean age that they can dominate women and need not respect them, okay? These nature spirits are being advised by, basically by men to, um, to, to go to us women and to create a reality for us that is not of our choosing, all right? So, um... So, for instance, um, um, a man who does not want to associate with me, who feels hatred towards me, okay, because, because of the nature of my heart energy, that man is zero-pointing against me and feeling hatred, right? And so, in his subconscious realm, not even knowing that he's doing it, or maybe knowing that he's doing it, um, and using, using black magic, he will say to the nature spirits, go to her and um, have her, whenever I approach her, have her say that she is a homosexual. Okay? Now, what does this mean? First, it means this man thinks that he has the power to, to rule my nature spirits and cr create my reality for me. Second, it means he thinks I'm at fault for his attraction. Third, he mistakes attraction, hatred for love. Fourth, he thinks that hatred will drive him away from me when in fact hatred is a great attractor. Okay, so what do I have to do? I just need to talk to my nature spirits. Hey, nature spirits. I noticed that he's telling you to say that, to be with me and say this whenever he comes around, but I just want you to know, I'd like to be clear, that I'm a straight woman and I enjoy the company of, of men. Okay, and then I went on to explain the type of man that I like, a heart-centered man, a man who knows how to express his sexuality while feeling his heart, a man who can relate to the higher realms as well as anchor himself on earth, and a man who is completely healthy, a man who is about my own age and like that. You know, I had my parameters. Everybody has their parameters, right? But, but we need to be very clear to the nature spirits what it is that we want to attract into our lives. It might be a certain type of wealth. It might be a certain type of job that, that brings us happiness. Or it might be um, harmony in our family. It might be a feeling of harmony with our entire community. But, but we need to say to the nature spirits, I, you know, I don't want anything to do with this type of energy that is the opposite of what I'm trying to co-create. Um, they will listen and they will help us. We can also say, with regard to courting, this is what I found out last. It was re it was way so cool. Okay, I found this out last night. With regard to courting, all right. For those of us that are single and looking for someone, we can request that our cords, that that we not cord to anyone except for the type of person that that we're interested in meeting. And we can request that the cords be tied, okay, all day and all night, every day, every night, until we're in the presence or either astral or physical of the type of person that we're interested in. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So, so now with regard to the demons that were still there when I changed my own heart energy, well, actually my heart energy was pretty cool. What it was uh, back there, uh, right after the massage at sunset yesterday, was that there was a man, and most likely a number of men, who uh, reacted badly to the fact that I felt good after a massage. The massage was with a gentleman, and that enhanced their dislike. Okay, and they what they did is that their anger, in their anger in their upset, either consciously or unconsciously, they sent the demon world to me. All right. It didn't affect me much because my own heart was open and like that. So, but to avoid this kind of annoyance and upset, what we can do 
is the minute that we notice that there's like a dark vibe around us, for those of us that don't actually feel and see or hear, you know, specifics of it, but when we feel like a threatening sensation around us or um, a darkening of the light, to be precise, around us, what we can do is we can just explain to our nature spirits that, that we're not interested in the presence of this kind of being and please send them right back where they were. Okay, We have the power to do these things. As women, we have that power. Or as men who feel that we are not the alpha male in a group, um, actually the only person that's the most insistently a nuisance in the current situation is the guy who feels he's an alpha male. Um, so, um, so, so all of us, you know, if we just realize that we must work with the nature kingdom to, to preserve our sanity, to recreate our, our, the power that, to understand that we are empowered to create our reality, we must work with our nature teams. Okay, And we don't want, personally, I don't care for the demonic realm. I want to work with spirits of light and love. In 4D, in 5D, wherever I am, 6D, I want, I want to work with those that, that just, just feel the energy of love. All right, That's the kind of reality I want to create. And I have the power to send away all energies that are not like that. Same thing, abundance, you know. Well, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> but it's the same kind of thing. Um, so, anything else? Let's see. That's it for now. Y'all take care. Love you lots. And great work with that empowerment, all right? Great work with becoming and remembering who we really are. Oh, one other thing. Oh, yeah, the devas. All right. Oh, um, the devas uh, are the ancient, wise, great beings that oversee the work of the nature spirits with the natural world, with rocks and trees and plants and animals, and with humans, and with cities, and with all to do with all the realms of reality in the third dimension, right? So, so if we cooperate with the devas, say, in a construction project, uh, before cutting down trees and bushes and so forth, if we ask the devas how they feel about it, and if we, uh, if we align ourselves with the devic intention, which is the highest intention for the natural world, then we will find um, that our projects are in harmony with that world and that they proceed well. But if we decide to cut down a tree without the deva's approval, then things can go very badly for us in the future. <laughs> we need to know what we're working with and how we're co-creating. We need to we need to understand the depth of the wisdom of those that are willing to work with us. Okay, respect respect for for the David world, respect for the nature spirit. They're wonderful nature spirits, and respect for for the for each other, for, for the free will of everyone on this earth, okay? And respect for our own hearts because we deserve happiness and love and respect and all those wonderful qualities. We deserve that. And, and by working with the David world, we can achieve that in, a, in an instant, in an instant.